Hey, welcome back, guys. This is a this is another lime green muzzy Kawasaki vinyl wrap uh, video. So as you can see in the background there, um, I got the gas tank wrapped, and I did it in one piece. It took uh, three different attempts, and I tried different things and different techniques. So that's what I'm gonna go over here with you guys, um, and that's it, man. Let's let's jump into it. I'm pretty happy with this piece. I'm actually more pleased that um, I got this wrapped in one piece successfully. Um, I'm I'm, ha I'm actually bleh, I can't talk. I'm actually happier with the gas tank um, than I did with the tail section. It probably looks better on camera than it does in person, but I just. I made little trim mistakes in different areas and I didn't do the corners really well. Um, I've got a seam right here and I'm going to show you a trick that I'm going to try with that later. Um, but very happy with the gas tank. I think it looks great. Um, I do have like a little bubble right here. I don't know. There it is. So you can see it's kind of covering up. So it's got a little bubble there and there's some stretch marks. It, yeah, man, to, to get over this, this contour right here, there was a lot of heating and stretching in this area. Um, but I think it came out really, really good. You, you have to look quite closely to see the stretch marks. Okay, so the one area that I'm not happy with, and maybe I'll redo the tank too one day, um, this plastic side cover, I thought that it was going to be up tighter against the tank. So I cut the trim really really short and if you look at the right angle you can kind of see where um, I cut off the vinyl and um, that's that's the only piece that um, I wasn't happy with after I got it all back together but for the most part I'm super stoked it looks great and for my first time wrapping a gas tank I'm, I'm good with it so um, my advice to you guys, if you're going to venture down the path of wrapping some or all of your bike, what I could have done was before I trimmed and cut it off, I could have fit this piece on and I would have seen that, hey, I need to take this wrap down a lot farther than I actually did. So there's a little lesson learned for you guys. I still need to wrap this piece once that piece is wrapped and it's going to be on to the side and the front fairing. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the front fender or not. I think I'm going to do the fender, but we'll see. That'll be the last piece I'm going to work on. So I mentioned earlier that this was actually my third attempt. So the first attempt, I tried to wrap it all in one piece and it didn't go so well. I didn't even share any pictures. I didn't make a video. Um, it was a disaster. So I, I decided to take a step back and um, my friend Moto G Spot down under um, told me about this stuff. This is 3M finish line knifeless tape. So this stuff is really, really cool. Um, so my thought was I'll do it in two pieces and then I'll use this finish line tape to blend the two pieces together so it looks like it's one piece. Well, um, as, as amazing as this finish line tape is, I did some tests and I'm gonna do a little demonstration for you here in a second, um, but I did some tests and uh, with overlapping pieces and this knifeless tape will cut through at least two pieces of vinyl that are overlapped on top of each other. But I couldn't get it so fine and close and perfect that you couldn't see the cut line. So um, I decided, well, that's okay. I'm still gonna do this in multiple pieces. So like one big piece on the top, one piece on each side, three pieces. And they'll just be kind of like a black stripe. You know, the underlining paint will just be part of the design. That was my thought. And it was, it was more of a compromise. I always wanted to do it in one full piece, but this was a compromise because I had convinced myself that I wasn't going to be able to do it. Maybe somebody with more experience would be able to do it, but it wasn't going to be me. So I ventured down the path of using the finish line tape. And here's a still photo of what it looked like after I pulled the finish line tape off. You can see pretty clean cut. So the tape works good. This finish line knifeless tape works really well. So as I was doing the three piece wrap on the tank, I got the first piece done, which is basically the top portion um, and then down where your chest kind of rests on the gas tank. And then um, I pulled the 3M finish line tape, it looked good. And I started thinking, um, as I was doing that, I kind of learned um, some new heating and stretching techniques. And I started to think, you know, maybe I can't actually do it all in one piece. Obviously I did. So I abandoned the multi-piece second attempt and started over again, going for a one piece wrap over the whole tank. And 
Um, I did it. It worked. It, uh, it took maybe a couple of hours, I think, total. So, um, you know, when you compare like vinyl wrapping to painting, there's lots of pros and cons. And um, I think one of the pros of this vinyl wrapping is in a couple of hours, I went from the stock paint job to that. Um, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to beat that. I mean, the amount of hours that I would have put into um, wet sanding and scratch filler and glaze and wet sanding all of that and primer and wet sanding the primer one more time and before I like make it into the paint booth and then get it painted, um, the cost of materials, renting a paint booth, you, you put all that stuff together and it's like, whoa, um, I could do that in a couple hours. Now, it's a huge learning curve. It, it takes it takes a long time, but once you get decent at it um, and you get better at trimming, I still suck at the trimming. But uh, once you get over that 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 hill, that that hurdle of, of learning to do something brand new, um, wow, uh, it's it's pretty cool what you can get done with vinyl wrap. And uh, as far as longevity and whatnot, I think that's going to be more up to the, um, the user and taking care of the vinyl and then the quality of the vinyl. There's lots of different vinyls out there and some of it is just cheap crap. So you just gotta be careful. Get good quality vinyl and just take care of it and well, we'll see how long it lasts. Okay, so I laid down a strip of the 3M finish line knifeless tape and I've got some piece of vinyl here. We're gonna lay this over and just kind of pretend that there's, there's some kind of obstruction here that we want the vinyl wrap to butt up against so we've outlined that, put down the vinyl, even though it's a demonstration, we, uh, we still want to get it over top of the finish line tape as best as we can. So here's why you want to leave, um, here's why you want to leave lots of room want a, a bunch of excess finish line tape sticking out from underneath your vinyl wrap because in order to get this to work you need to fold it over on itself press really hard and it's supposed to work better than that <laughs> let's try it again I'm gonna fold it over and then yank all right so that gets the fishing line, whatever this stuff is, out of the film. And now you can cut through the vinyl, like so. It does leave behind the film, so you can take off this top piece and then pull out this remaining film because basically it cuts the film in half so you end up with these, these two pieces of empty film. All right so there you go. Nice little fancy design. So I think that's what this uh, this finish line tape is intended for and how it's uh, supposed to be used. It works fairly well and I will definitely use it in the future. The other thing that you could use this for is your trim. I could have lined the bottom of the gas tank with the finish line tape and then as I was finishing off the film, I could have used that to trim it off instead of like a razor blade. That is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. I learned something. Thanks to Moto G Spot for letting me know that that product even exists. That's a really cool find. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep the rubber side down and have a good one, man. Get out there and ride. Bye.